Call it the Cooperstown of childhood revelry. People just seem to have a reaction when they hear about the Toy Hall of Fame, don't they? What is that reaction? That reaction is really visceral. People remember their favorite toys or the ones that they never got. 87 toys have been inducted and are on display at the Strong National Museum of Play, from action figures to board games. Monopoly, Dungeons and Dragons. Chris Bench is chief curator here and says each year hundreds of toys are nominated and whittled down to 12 finalists, with three winners picked by a special committee. Experts who consider the toys' longevity, how recognizable they are, and their play value. The selection committee truly is the best of the best, right? It is, as you you know, we are honored to have you amongst that group. Seriously, how did I get into this list? <laughs> You're just special, Joe. This week, the latest All inductees the they are. Oh, were revealed on today. A seven-time finalist, My Little Pony, finally made the list. So did Transformers and the card game Phase 10. Phase 10. I had never heard of Phase 10, and I don't think I'm alone. You are not alone, although Phase 10 is the second best-selling card game, only behind Uno. The Hall of Fame is just one part of this museum, which draws families from across the continent with one goal in mind. Play. You play. I love that it's called the Strong National Museum of Play, not the Museum of Toys. The play part's important, right? The play part is important. We certainly have a lot of historic toys, but toys are just a way to play. Play is also the imaginary play that you might do. It might be playing with your blanket. The museum CEO, Steve Dubnik, showed us every way to play. <laughs> Warp speed. <laughs> Let's hope we don't break it. From an old-fashioned carousel. No. no. To the world's largest donkey car. After all, video games have become a dominant form of play. Video games are just permeating through how we consume entertainment. Outside a park immerses visitors in Hasbro board games. This path feels very familiar. This path represents Candyland. Well, inside the path weaves through a well-known neighborhood. What about Sesame Street fits into the world of play? Well, Sesame Street is about imagination. It is about education, and play is really all about education. Play is how kids learn the best. Perhaps play is the ultimate transformer. All right, so here they are. Here are the three winners that Your got inducted. Bags, so do you want to know how many do you think I voted for? One. Two. Yes. <laughs> I, voted for, I voted for Transformers. I felt it was their time. I also, though, voted for Balloon. Because Balloon has not been inducted into What's the Hall that? of Fame I'm not familiar just with balloons. Just a balloon. No, balloons. Oh, what? Just balloons. Yes, balloons. Yes, balloons. You mean you, mean you, you, you didn't vote animal. for My Little Pony? I did not vote for My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> We've discussed why. Apples to apples, too. I've also voted for apples to oh, apples. Oh, that's a good game. That's See, that should be involved. Yeah. But I think there's, but you'd be surprised. Like, there are things that are inducted, like stick. Is it just like a stick? Box. If box. Box. Yeah, of imagination. Sand got inducted yeah. one year. Okay. And there are people who still think dirt should be inducted. Dirt's having okay. a comeback. Yeah. Okay. So, I Listen, I love Face 10. You do. It's You're one, one of my the favorite people. games. I'd never heard of that. I want to get that. Yeah. All right. Let's try. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.